Hello, welcome to Bug Blog. This is Craig. Just want to walk you around this house. We did the rodent proofing on this house, pest proofing slash rodent proofing, about 10 years ago. And as you can see, this is quite a challenge to keep the bugs out. Uh, you've got a tile roof, a lot of ivy, a lot of uh, trees overhanging. Uh, constantly, we're having problems with wildlife rats, mice uh, in this tile roof. There is no decking under this roof, it's just on the slats, so you got openings all around the perimeter uh, of the roof where things could get in. We were constantly dealing with uh, paper wasp, red wasp, cricket wasp that would then come out around the can lights into the house. So what we did is we went all the way around the perimeter of this roof, and uh, I'll try to zoom in on this. We, uh, on these edges, you've got openings all the way around there. And, uh, what we did back then is we stuffed those with, uh, expandable foam, and then we used Stuff It at the time. Of course, now we've got a product called Excluder, which is a stainless steel mesh, a little bit more economical than the copper would be now with the prices. But we sealed them all the way around, took probably about six man hours to do this whole roof line but here it is about nine ten years later and hadn't really had a problem since so rodent proofing pest proofing is a big investment when you first do it sometimes especially in a case like this uh, this is more of an extreme case than than a normal brick house with a shingle roof but the problem was uh, taken care of, and 10 years later, still fixed. Stay tuned.